For this method, we have to have the edges oriented. I like to do this on the last two faces, like in Petrus, but you can also do it as a first step of your last layer and do your S2 l normally. So we finish S12 here, and the next step is to build an edge corner edge block. So for example, we can start by pairing up this corner with this edge, and then pairing up this with this edge. And then we are normally left with four corners and three edges, but in this case we are just left with two corners that are twisted. So we just solve this directly. So another example solve. So we solve our S two L again. This time we don't see anything nice either. So we start by forming a block. In this case we actually have two blocks but they are not compatible with each other. So we just ignore the other one. Then we solve the last three edges. We can use a soon for this. So like we move this blue edge over here, this yellow edge over here, this pink edge over here. It's a standard commutator stuff. And then we solve the last four corners using commutators as well. Uh, so we use a commutator to solve one corner and another commutator to solve the last three corners. See these two edges are relatively commuted with respect to each other and you can insert this corner into here with a commutator. And then we solve the last three edges. Uh, and then we solve the last four corners using commutators again. But in this case this uh this is an A perm. I use an L for this. Yeah. So sometimes we have ready made pairs and we just use them to build a H corner H block. So we hide the pair, move the H over to form the block, and then we resolve the slot. And here we see that it's actually a U perm plus a pretty nice tree cycle case. So if you know the U perm L, you can just use that. And then do the commutator to solve the corners. And another example. So this time we have a block ready made. And then we just we also have a pair here, but it's not so easy to preserve that, so we just don't care. We solve the edges as normal, and then we use a commutator to solve one corner first. In this case, we would choose to solve this 
blue orange corner because it's at this position and then we can use a wait yeah we can use a commutator for these last three corners I hope I don't mess this up wait I messed it up uh, wait, yeah it's this one yeah One final example solve. We have a pair here, so we join that to the last edge that has to go with. And uh, nothing nice here again. So here instead of using a single soon, you can use a double in D soon, which will permute the edges in the same way. But it does something else with the corner, so you can sometimes force her force yourself to have to be left with three corners rather than four corners. So in this case if you use a double in D soon, it solves this corner and we are left with three corners to do that. Uh, 